what is going on guys? My name is Ari and I hope you are having a fantastic day. Today I am going to be taking you through my mental health focused morning routine. This is a standard morning in the life for me. However, it has been designed and tuned in a way that suits me and sets me up for a successful day. Now the first step after I wake up is to get a cup of coffee and obviously this is going to help with energy with the caffeine, but it also provides a very visceral sense of joy for me. I get so excited when I'm making my cup of coffee and I start taking those first sips. I pair the coffee with computer work. So as I've mentioned in the past, all my creative work is done early in the morning before the world wakes up, reading, writing, journaling, YouTube editing, responding to YouTube comments. I like to do all of that super early in the morning because I find that when the rest of the world is quiet, all the thoughts that are sort of just free floating in my brain have a direct path down into these hands and into this laptop. So it is currently 6.45. I'm gonna settle in and do some of that now and I will check in with you guys after. Have a wonderful morning with me. All right, so computer work is done. It is now 8 a.m. I just spent the morning responding to YouTube comments and then I also watched a video by Nick Bear, who is an endurance athlete and he owns a supplement company. He has honestly been the inspiration for me getting into running in the first place. He's also been the inspiration for a secret challenge that I will be pursuing shortly and releasing to you guys very soon. We'll put that aside for now. Right now, I've got to go gear up for a five mile run. So let's get after it. So I just got done with my run, uh, it was five miles, it went pretty well. I am pretty sore though because I am now 10 days out from my half marathon, so this is peak week in terms of mileage. Uh, I had a nine mile run last weekend that I'm still pretty sore from and I've been doing a lot of leg training, so it's been tough, but it's going well. The reason that I signed up for a half marathon was because I wanted to push my body and see what it's capable of. Running has just been so powerful for me in terms of body image and the relationship that I have with my body because unlike lifting where I would bring a lot of intensity and anger and volatility to my workouts and resultantly my body, running has been very peaceful and I've allowed myself to really just create a good connection to how my body's feeling and ultimately build the capacity to endure, which is really the reason why I'm running and the reason why running has been so impactful for me. Running is not easy and I definitely underestimated how challenging it can be, but I also underestimated how rewarding it could be. And knowing that my relationship with my body is changing, knowing that I can now start the rest of my day and feel like I've done something that makes my body feel like it's mine and puts agency in my body and makes me feel super capable is why it is such a profound part of my morning routine. All right, so I'm gonna take a quick shower now and then I'll see you for breakfast. And just like that, breakfast is served, smoothie, custard, whatever you wanna call it, thing that's made in a blender. I have this every morning after my runs. It's my way of replenishing fuel that's been depleted on those runs and primes me, gets my energy up for the rest of my day. With that being said, I'm gonna end the video here. You know, this has been my ideal morning routine with a mental health focus, but I do wanna make the point that not every day is gonna be perfect. Nuisances will come up, distractions will pop up. Just do your best with every single day. Whether your best on one day is just watching YouTube and Netflix or your best is crushing your productivity before you have to get to your desk at the start of the day. Just do your best, life ebbs and flows and you want to ebb and flow with it. Do not punish yourself if you do not have an ideal day every single day, but I want you to make the morning yours so that you can make your life yours. Thank you for being here. I'll see you next week.